300 days remain to the intersection. It seems we might make it. Yes. It took every bit of our combined intellects, but we built it. To prepare for the time our two worlds collide. All that we are is contained within. Memories and our souls. We will all be gone and then reborn. Will it be a new beginning or our demise? No one can tell us that. Time will run its due course and show us the true meaning of our deed. In the distant past, what was once a single world was cleft in twain. Plus and minus, on the surface, they were identical. These two worlds of opposing nature knew nothing of each other as they wended their way towards their own respective futures. However, the worlds yearned for each other against the solitude of existence. They strove to reunite. Though it would spell certain destruction, should the two worlds intersect, they would cancel each other out and cease to be, leaving only light. Light, a shining beacon in the darkness, the last common language left to us. Though we inhabited separate worlds, the medium of light allowed us to communicate for the very first time. And so we sought for a way to prevent total oblivion. We pooled our knowledge and through time gave birth to a single point of hope. Origin. An arc containing all the world's data recorded in words of light, carrying hope into the future. Origin was a system we constructed to reboot the world's states. And then, time was upon us. The reboot process failed to initiate. Instead, in that instant, the worlds became still. By the will of Mobius. So it's their fault. And at the heart of it, was their ringleader, Zed. You could say Zed embodies this frozen world. But what does that achieve? Freezing everything. Not a thing. He didn't need to do anything after that. Only to keep everything in its place in stasis and create an eternity to abide within. As was their wish. He made our lives their sustenance. Precisely so. In order to gain control of Origin, Zed captured the Kavesi Queen. To what end? To access the memories in Origin. To bend them to his will. He needed a key held only by its creators. A key? A heart might be more fitting. Zed used the key held by the Queen of Kevis and seized Origin in its entirety. Controlling Origin means controlling the world. And having shackled it, he can bend it to his will. Life and death are his playthings. Life and death. No one, not even M knew the origins of this world. So I guess you have another key. Yes, it's in my possession. 
With its help, I was able to create... the Ouroboros Stones. Though most of the power is with Zed, I have been able to resist him to a small extent. It's a cogwheel? One of the gears from Origin. Through a process of catalysis between the Origin substrate and the core in my chest, I can generate the stones. And thanks to that, we became Ouroboros. Yes, but not completely. Huh? Remember, have you not succumbed to Mobius's power before? <sighs> As I've said before, Zed commands the world's very fabric. Unfortunately, my own powers are sorely limited. And yet, you too can break Zed's fetters, as you've shown, smashing through the rules he established. With your Ouroboros powers and the Sword of the End, both. The Sword of the End? The sword you hold. It is a byproduct of resonance between the Kavesi Queen's heart and origin. Does that mean... It's like an Ouroboros stone. The Ouroboros stones and the sword, they're mere gimmicks. The crux of them lies with you. You see, there are keys inside of you too. Inside of us? Keys? Finally, my efforts were rewarded. I'm glad to meet with all of you who embody hope. Majesty? What is it that we must do? Right. Infiltrate Origin, then free it and the Kavesi Queen from Zed. From the hands of Mobius once and for all. If we do free it, will we get to change the world? It's so cruel and senseless. Can we undo that? Huh. Your Majesty... If you desire to have a future before you... I need to know. Zed and Mobius, must they be our enemy? Noah, now that is something for you to decide. After confronting them and discerning for yourselves what they truly are. Right. Come this way. <laughs>